back to the channel guys so i have a little problem today one of our cars stop uh, working every time we try to turn on the actual vehicle it uh it'll kind of act up like if it's either the starter or the battery so i was i was hoping that it was a battery i went to take it out to get it checked out and it seems like the battery is uh bad and i just replaced that battery about two years ago 2019 and so it seems like it's bad so i need to go ahead and take that off and uh, hopefully you can get it replaced. Hopefully you can still get under the warranty so I don't have to pay a full price for that battery. So let's get that taken care of. So on this uh, 2011 Traverse, it actually has the battery on the passenger backside. So it's kind of weird, it's not even in the actual hood. So whenever they have to check the battery as a terminal on the uh, under the hood, so they can go ahead and check. But the battery's actually back back here. In that area okay so the battery actually is right in this area right here so if you pull this over and take this piece off let's see here the battery for this truck actually lives see that little see that little compartment right there so you take off this piece here and then you get to the battery right there So to take it off, I actually do have to take off another piece. You see this piece right here? I actually have to snap that off to allow me to bring the entire battery out. If not, a portion of it will be in the way. So I have to actually pull this off. And hopefully it comes right off. To be able to actually take that piece off, I had to slide my seat all the way back and then it allows me to actually pop this out. Now I can have full access to the battery. All right, to take off the actual battery, I'm going to need a 10 millimeter for that screw right there to loosen that clamp off. And the same thing over here. And then from there, I should be able to go ahead and take that battery off. So one other item that this actual battery has, I guess probably because of the location, it actually has a little uh, tube with the vent to vent any gases, I guess, from the battery to the outside of the actual vehicle. So you see this piece right here? I actually need to just kind of loosen this right there. And then I can go ahead and take that out. So I guess I'll have to put that on the new battery. All right, so I thought I was done. I thought all I had to do was take off, you know, the clamp here here and then that little hose that was on the side but no you see that right there guys right there that's another piece at the bottom that's holding down the actual that's a 14 millimeter no probably 13 so i need to take this off and then the battery should come out now <laughs> okay so i've loosened this actual bolt off so allow me to take that And now we should be able to wiggle this thing out of here. It actually has some handles, so hopefully that'll help. 
All right, so here's the actual battery out of the vehicle. It's the H6. And there's a little area that was actually that last piece that I was taking off where it was grabbing on. And then here's a little vent piece that I think comes with the actual with the actual battery. So hopefully we can get this warranty out. It was from 2019. So we'll see what they say. All right, so I went ahead and had to buy a new battery. I'm pissed off, guys. I am pissed off. So here's the deal with uh, Walmart. I went ahead and before I came to bring the battery and took it out of the vehicle, I took it to two different places. Advance, Auto Parts, and AutoZone. They both told me that the battery was bad. I even took a screenshot of the damn machine they have that shows the battery is bad. Because I didn't want to go through the whole deal of taking the battery off, bringing it to Walmart, and then telling me, oh, I'm sorry, the battery's good, you know, just charge it. So even after that, even after taking it to two different places and checking it and they, and they verified that it was bad, I bring it here. And so what does the lady do? She pulls out a little machine to check the battery as well. And guess what, guys? Of course the battery doesn't say it's bad. It says it's good. And because she doesn't have that printout that indicates that the battery is bad on their end, she cannot replace this battery. The battery is only two years old. I bought it in 2019. And apparently it won't be able to be exchanged because their machine says it's good. I asked her to, to check it again. So she checked it twice and it still said it was good. And even after that, even after talking to a manager, apparently their policy is if their machine does not show that it's bad, they will not exchange your battery out. So I ended up having to pay full price for a battery again. Uh, I guess that's what I get for getting the damn battery at Walmart. Um, you know, batteries cost about a hundred bucks at Walmart on average. And at any of the auto stores, it's about 200 bucks, give or take. Um, you know, so I guess just know that you'll get a, a cheaper battery. You're just gonna have to replace it sooner, I guess. And they won't validate that damn warranty if it, they don't feel that on their end, it's bad. Even though I showed her, I, I actually, for the same reason, I screenshot those two images of the machines from the, those two auto places, indicating that the battery was bad, but they didn't care. They said, we cannot exchange it because our machine says the battery is good. So uh, hopefully this will fix my issue. I went ahead and just got the battery again. I had to pay full price, and uh, hopefully this will stop that whole issue that I'm having currently with the, you know, the actual car not wanting to start and uh i hope it's not the damn starter so it, you know two different places told me it was bad walmart saying it's good we'll see so the battery comes with two these two little uh, elbow and little stopper to put onto the actual battery before we install it so you see that little hole right there put the stopper right there and then i'll go ahead and put the the vent one on this side to connect it back to an existing vent hose to hook to vent out any of the gases. guys so i went ahead installed the battery back on there and tried cr cranking the actual truck and it seems like it's it's actually sounding a lot better so i'm hoping that is the issue um hopefully i won't need to deal with the starter or the alternator so we'll see hopefully this will fix the issue i cranked it about three times you know and i uh, didn't have any issues didn't give me any clicking so uh you know we're done with this installation and uh, thanks for watching. And remember to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.